And since I've been back, people say, you seem kind of depressed. And to them I say, I believe that is an indication that I am perfectly emotionally calibrated. This sucks. <laughs> Therefore, I don't like it. <laughs> but why don't you take some of those pills that will make you think happier thoughts? Because I don't want to take pills that make me think shitty things are good. <laughs> I touch a stove, I get burnt. Perfect. I touch a stove, I get a boner. Ow! 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 I know how you'll know I'm too depressed though, right? I found the garment of my demise. It's called a forever lazy. You might have seen it on TV. It's a fuzzy onesie for a grown man with a poop flap. <laughs> Nothing says I give up. <laughs> like a fuzzy onesie on a grown man poop flap. When you call the 1-800 number on the screen, they send you directly to Suicide Hotline. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know. I just want to sit in my own poop and masturbate till I'm dead. Come on. <laughs> I like North Dakota, we're trying, we're trying to get tourism, which if you don't want to watch crops grow or oil get drilled, it's not going awesome. <laughs> they did put an ad online called the North Dakota Legend ad, you might have seen it, we got in a lot of trouble for it, right? Here's the ad, two guys, they're at a bar, they got beers, looking out a plate glass window on the street, there's three women, they're looking in, sexual tension, they're very flirtatious. The headline says, come to North Dakota, make tough choices, leave a legend. And the internet freaked out. They're like, that makes it look like those guys came to North Dakota to meet drunk sluts. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't know if you've ever been to North Dakota, but if you're not coming for the drunk sluts, you're not coming. <laughs> Our state motto is North Dakota will hold your hair while you puke. <laughs> and we will. Yes, it is. <laughs> Somebody in the back said, no, I don't think that's right. No. I'm pretty sure. I have seen the flag, and that is not on the thing. We got a hockey team, too. Do you guys, are you guys, anybody here a Sioux fan? Yeah. Anybody here not? Okay. <laughs> You know the deal though, right? The, they've been having trouble with the mascot for years and years and years and years because they wanted to change it because it's a picture of a Native American brave, feather, longish hair. Some people think it's offensive, some people don't. Now we're going to keep it. Next year it'll change again. I'm sick of the fight. I'm sick of going back and forth. I came up with a solution. Keep the picture. Change the name. From now on, University of North Dakota, Fighting Mexicans. <laughs> He's got the long hair, he's got the feather. <laughs> Let's play hockey, Cholo. I think it works. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to do a race thing. Some people get offended by any race stuff. How about this? We keep the picture, University of North Dakota, because they got the hair, they got the longest, fighting dirty hippies. They smoke a ton of pot, very good goalies, though. <laughs> High as shit the whole time. And, so, and some people don't like the drug thing either, so how about this? This is the last one, I'm gonna put this out there. We keep the picture, we keep the name, but it's not a Native American brave, a Native American brave, it's Sue. Sue's a chick, she's just kind of an uggo, right? She, 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 she's got like man bones in her face, but a very good slap shot, and she spells her name with an X because she's into hip hop. So. I think that solves the problem. You're welcome. <laughs>